All right, now we're in part three, and I just realized I didn't do an intro or an exit. And you know what? It's probably better that way. This is a series of, of stuff. Let's just get doing cut all the nonsense, okay? Well, time, time is important here. So let's get back to our setup now. This is exactly where I left it. As a matter of fact, when I end the videos, I'm going to end them on the same screen, and we're just going to come back and just get going with this, okay? So here's where we ended up. We know that we have our, our, our stuff set up now, but we have a problem. We have no switches set up for arming or disarming. We have no switches set up for flight modes or anything like that, right? So let's go ahead and get that set up. Now, I have not checked this yet. I'm going to click modes and beta flight. Okay, so what they've done is they have set from the factory to, uh, to have air mode set to channel to uh, our mode set on uh, auxiliary two and our arm and disarm set on auxiliary one. So let's go ahead now and we're going to switch screens uh, and we're going to do just like this. First thing I want you to do now is we're going to set up our switches, right? So let's do this. Press and hold your model button. Okay, here's everything we did. Now I want you to click your page button here. Click it again. You're going to be on your input screen, right? We're going to go to number five. So scroll to number five, hit your button, and we're going to configure this. And this is going to be our first switch. Now I'm going to use SA right here as my arming and disarming switch, and I'm going to use SD as my flight mode switch, okay? So I'm going to go to my input name, and I'm going to click Enter. And you, I just do this because it's habit. I, I'm going to go ahead and put the word arm, okay? Oops. All right, and then I'm gonna hit return to get out of that. Go down to line name, and I'm gonna put it again. Arm. Okay, hit return again. Now for my source, I'm gonna to go to source, I'm gonna click it, and I'm gonna flip my SA. See, there you go. Now I've got SA assigned for my input for this first auxiliary, okay? So with that done, I'm gonna hit return, and I hit return again, and one more time. Now I need to go set my flight mode, right? So I'm gonna go to scroll down to number six. Let's see if I can get that glare out of there for you. Let me see. Here. And then let's see if I can get that. All right, there you go. I apologize. So let's go back. We're gonna go to number six. Okay. And I'm gonna click that, and this is gonna be my mode. So I'm gonna to M. O D. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I guess it will let me. A, e. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my line name, and I'm going to do that as well. M. O. D. E. Okay, and hit return. Now I'm going to go to my source, and I'm going to click. Uh, I'm going to flip my SD switch right here. Perfect, and now I'm going to hit return, return, return. Now, before we go anywhere, I want to set up the RSSI. Okay, so let's do this. On the RSS, I want you to go to channel eight. Okay, so let's just go to your auxiliary eight. I want you to hit your button. Oh, you know what? Hold on a second, hold on a second. Let's get out of that real quick, and don't worry about this. If you, if you went ahead and did that, you could just hold down the button and then just click delete. One thing I wanna make sure first is, we need to get out of the system here, and let's go and check our telemetry first to make sure we're getting our RSSI. Okay, so with that, I want you to hold your model button down, and instead of going page forward, I want you to go page back, so you get to tel telemetry. And we don't have, I don't see anything here for RSSI, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you, see, you, you don't see anything. There's nothing that says RSSI here. So let's go ahead and click on Discover New Sensors. And we have RSSI right there at 83 dB, okay? So now you can, once you see that, you can go ahead and click Stop Discovery. Now we do have RSSI, so now let's go back, hit Return, Return, and let's get ready to set up our RSSI as well. Hold your model button down, press Page Forward, Again, go to your input screen here, and now go to, let's go to channel eight, hit enter. Okay, so we're gonna call this RSSI, all right? Um, and since we're kind of duplicating the other RSSI, I'm gonna make this one with a lowercase r, and then I'm just gonna capitalize the rest of it, okay? S, uh, and this will stand out as being my channel name and not the actual RSSI signal. So I'll do, I'll do like that, okay? And then I'll go to imp line name, and I'm gonna do it again. Or I guess you could make it all lowercase. I have no idea. Maybe it looks better this way. I don't know if the word S, I didn't think about it, but I don't think SS is, is appropriate to just capitalize. Uh, so let me, let me go back and I'll change this to uh, lowercase. Okay, there. So we've got RSSI and RSSI, right? Now let's go to our source. And here you wanna scroll until you find the RSSI and it'll have a decibel, uh, it should have a decibel uh, measurement on it here, a rating, so a value I mean. So let's keep scrolling. Now you'll see RSSI regular, and then you'll see minus and you'll see plus. So you're gonna go to regular, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. 
Click that, and now you've got your RSSI here on channel eight. Now on your scale, I want you to go ahead and take your scale, and I want you to scroll to, it says 100 dB. Okay, once you're done with this and your screen looks like this, go ahead and hit return and return. You now have your arm, your mode, and your RSSI set. Now we're gonna click the page forward and go to our mixes. Mix number one is gonna be channel five, that's our arm, so click that. Mix name, we're gonna name it arm. And you know me, I gotta keep doing this, even if you don't want to, I'm gonna do it. Okay. All right, now check this out. It's already got our source being our channel with our arm switch, so we're set here. Everything here looks great. You can just hit return. Now go to channel six. And again, we're gonna to go to our mix, and we're gonna call this mode. Okay, hit return, and it's got our mode switch already in it under source, so there's nothing to do there either. Just hit return. Now, there is something to do on channel eight though. Go to channel eight, hit enter, and you see how it's already filled in our switch, right, for RSSI. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this RSSI, and I guess I'll do it again with the same lowercase. Okay, return. Now, here's where things are gonna get a little different, so we're gonna to have to make sure that we have this set properly. And let me make sure that I have all my stuff here set. Uh, okay, so in this, under your mixes for RSSI, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to your weight, and you're gonna to wanna to take it up to 200%. Okay, and you're gonna to wanna to go to your offset, and you're gonna to wanna to take it down 100% just like that. So make sure that it looks just like this, okay? And I don't know if that's blurry or not, but let me try to zoom out maybe just a little bit to make it easier, okay? So you have under your mix, then you have RSSI, you have all these things set right here, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit return and return and return again. Now we're back to our main page. Now, let's switch screens and head over to Betaflight, okay? First thing we can do is we can Flip our arm switch, and we're gonna see now that our associated, let me, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see me flipping the switch here. What you can see now is that when I flip my arm switch, it's actually moving with auxiliary one. And if I flip my SD switch, it's actually moving with my settings for auxiliary two. Perfect job, guys. And that's also gonna affect down here under air mode. See, all right, perfect, all right. Oh, they gave us a flip after crash to auxiliary three. I didn't even do that, so very quickly, uh, very quickly, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this real quick. So I'm gonna hold my button down. Let's go to page. We'll go to number seven, click it, and I'm just gonna call this flip. Do they have anything else on the screen? Uh, no. So flip, I'm gonna call it flip. Sorry guys, I didn't even see that they did that. So I'm gonna just speed through this one. Okay, return, whoops, go to edit, and then let's go back to flip and name this. All right, and I guess we'll just pick another switch. So uh, I would say that for this one, let's go to source. And I don't know, I'll pick um, uh, a toggle just like that, right? Just a toggle, which will be SH, which is this one right here. So that'll be my flip. Okay, now I'm gonna hit return, return, return. Page forward again, now let's go to seven over here. And then it's already filled in everything, so I'm just gonna name it F L I. Okay, now if we go to beta flight, watch. See that, if I scroll down here, let me put this back in perspective like this. If I scroll down here now and I find that flip option and I flip this, watch. See, perfect. So we have everything set now, this is perfect, great. So once we're here, let's just go ahead now and get out and go to receiver, okay? So now if you'll look at augs, look at these, righty? If I flip the arm, you see the values moving for auxiliary one. If I flip the mode, you see it moving for auxiliary two. And if I flip my flip switch, you see it for auxiliary three. You'll also see auxiliary four right there, and auxiliary four is that channel eight, because remember, you're gonna go one through four is your sticks, and then auxiliary, uh, auxiliary uh, one in this case is gonna be channel five, right? So you have your regular four channels, and then you start auxiliary one as channel five. So we have auxiliary one is five, auxiliary six is two, auxiliary, sorry, auxiliary one is five, auxiliary two is six, auxiliary three is seven, auxiliary four is eight. 
that's the way it is. And you can see that eight right here. And if I move it, we should see. See how it's dropping? I just took the radio off the bench and we're seeing the signals move on auxiliary four. Okay, now you wanna get this into um, your goggles, right? So here's what we're gonna do. You can already see here now on your screen under the setup tab, you have RSSI right here, okay? It is reading RSSI for you. So what we can do now is on our receivers, what we wanna do here is let's go to our CLI, okay? And just do this, type the word get RSSI and hit enter and let's see what you have here. Okay, it says your RSSI, RSSI channel equals zero. Well, your RSSI channel is actually gonna be uh, what we have programmed here, right? So let's go ahead and see what we have here for that, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say set RSSI underscore channel equals four, which stands for auxiliary four. Not eight for channel eight, it's auxiliary four. Hit enter, and then type in the word save, okay? Now let's connect. All right, and let me see here. Let's go to receiver, and we're gonna drop down here, and we're gonna go to auxiliary four, and we're gonna hit save. Okay, let me kind of get this thing set here because we need to, uh, we have a very low signal right now and I need to get it back on here. So let's just give me a second here. Receiver still connected. I'm gonna power this off and restart it. Throttle warning. There we go. Okay, so our RSSI signal, I just restarted the radio. I should have probably unplugged the quad. Usually when you set your RSSI signal, you wanna unplug it, but instead I just restarted my radio. So in either case now, look at what you have here. You have RSSI at 84%, which is pretty much what it should read here. So if I go to receiver, okay, and what I, what I was zooming through here was when I made that setting, right, and I went into my CLI, it still did not select the RSSI channel here. So I went back and selected that and I clicked save, okay? So you wanna make sure if you've used eight, that you have auxiliary four here set, and if you go to your CLI, RF signal critical. You, would, you would, I'm gonna do get RSSI so you can see the change. You'll see that we have our RSSI channel set for eight, okay? So you do RSSI channel, so you, set, you, you, put in, you put in your RSSI channel here, set RSSI underscore channel, okay, equal, four, right? And then what'll happen, like I said, when you do this and you click save, what's gonna happen is you're gonna come back and you're gonna go to your receiver tab and it's, it's empty here, right? Drop it down and go to four and then click save, okay? And then what I want you to do is just disconnect your quad. It'll say signal lost, plug it back in and when you sign back in, you got 84% RSSI, and you have it on your receiver tab, and you can see it here. And if, like I said, if you want to test it, you can just move the radio away, right? Now, what you can do is you can go to your OSD, and you can now select RSSI. Uh, well, this one's, these are by default. You can select your RSSI. Where is my RSSI option? Hold on, grab name. I'm going to flip right by. There it is, RSSI value and it'll put it up here, and you will now get the value that is in beta flight, which if you click your setup page, you will see it, it'll show you 84%, okay? So there you go, guys. That is exactly how you set up the Mobula 7 with, fleece, with a FlySky receiver, and how you set up uh, RSSI to show up in your OSD on your screen. I would try to connect this, the only problem is, is if I do that, it may interrupt our video, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway here, and if, we get, if, if this freezes, I apologize, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna go to Betaflight here. Let me do this real quick. And I'm gonna go to my video transmitter. And I believe, uh, I guess I don't have my BTX table loaded. Hmm, that's kind of strange because I thought the BTX table would have been loaded here. So I've got to go, uh, there th oh, you know what, they didn't. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and create this, I see it in their instructions. I'm gonna go ahead and create the VTX table. So bear with me a second here. 
I was I was wondering if they have that available for download, but I don't see it. Tell you what, I'll come back and we'll do that section. We'll just set up the VTX table on the next video. So give me one.